Today's video is an AliExpress haul. Remember, click like, subscribe and keep watching. Hi beauties, so I haven't done an AliExpress haul for a little while, but I got one now. <laughs> I did explain in my last one that I had to wait to do some ordering and the basket's sort of filled up now. I thought, I think it's better off that I do one now. But you know what? I don't know where to start. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. I <laughs> don't know what to say. It is... I just cannot think. And I purposely didn't go on and have a look just for the sake of... This is how it's done. You order something... It takes so long to come that you forgot what you ordered. So... <laughs> right, so, I don't know what I ordered here. I've done it again, haven't I? So let's open one and see what it is. But it comes with adhesive sheets. And then... Okay, it's a powder. <laughs> what have I ordered? Put adhesive sheet on this side. So you're supposed to take that, take the sticky and put it on that side. Maybe? I have absolutely no idea what this is. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. But it's some sort of powder and I will get back to you when I figure out what it is. Oh, do you know what it smells like? I have to be careful with this because I don't know. I could be allergic to this. It smells like tea leaves like herbal tea leaves. I wonder if it is for your eyes. <laughs> and we strike again with AliExpress. Okay, put that aside. Right, so I bought a, another stippling brush. I bought two of these off AliExpress at some point this year and I cannot find either of them. So, I thought I'd better get one. So it's a little bit like squiff. So once I've washed it, it'll go back to round. Love these ones, really thick handles, something to grab hold of. And um, it does apply the foundation really nicely as well, or your BB cream, depending on what you're putting on with it. Um, but I love using my foundation with it. So yeah, um, around £1.50. You can get them from Primark for £2. They are just as good. But I just find these ones from AliExpress because they're so much thicker. It gives me something to hold on to better. So, there you go. Anyway, this one, um, I cannot read for the life of me. But I do know what this one is, thankfully. Um, doing a lot of research. Um, because, as you know, and I have mentioned this before in many, many videos about my daughter's skin. Um, and my skin has really started to flare up just lately. Um, and I love Aveeno and I still use my Aveeno. It is still my favourite thing to use. But I just thought I needed something else rather than going to the doctors and getting... No, not hydrocortisone. I, I don't know. But it's um, a steroid cream. And I don't want to use steroid creams. I don't want my daughter using the steroid creams. So that is where I did this. Anyway, this came up. And again, I don't know the name of it. But it is for eczema, for dermatitis, for psoriasis, um, things like that. And it has a very slight smell to it. Just a very slight smell. It's pink in colour. And the smell is like menthol. And I started using this because I really wanted to see if this would work. And it really did work. And it cost me something like 80 pence. Um, 
straight away put it on my dorsal. Well, I put it on me first, obviously, to test it. And I had um, quite a few patches going on everywhere, and especially my neck at the moment. Um, well, not at the moment, thankfully. Um, so, yeah, so I tried it, and it really sort of went in and took away that the itchiness and everything which then helps obviously to get rid of it quicker so i put it on my daughter um she put some come up on her creases and within two days it was gone so she's now back to using her vino i'm back to using my vino only going to use that when the flare-ups happen and it's going to because of the weather that is a fantastic buy um this intrigued me <coughs> everything intrigues me doesn't it um you know, you've got your eye masks, you've got your face masks, you've got your feet masks, and now you've got your neck masks. Collagen Crystal Neck Bag Mask. Yeah. So, you're supposed to put it on around the neck for 20 to 30 minutes. Make your skin, neck skin smooth and whitening. Uh, ingredients. It has collagen extracts from plants. Um, cannot see that. Whoa. Alatoy, Alaton. Uh, special anti-wrinkle and moisturising factors. Rose essential oil. So you know me, I thought I'm going to give that a go. So I will let you know how that one goes. Yeah, me. Mental. Talking of masks and things, um, I ran out of my last ones, the panda ones of the eye, under eye. Um, I don't friggin' know what I'm talking about, but you know, these things. So this time I went for the gold, uh, crystal collagen eye mask. Well, there you go, eye mask. Uh, so, yeah, so I went for these. Uh, again, not tried them. There is five packs in the pack and again I paid around 80 odd pence for them so can't wait to try them actually. Uh, this might be a silly buy because you can get them from Primark and things but this was only 30 pence um, and I've been looking for one for ages and basically it is an eye mask cooling, a cooling eye mask. Um, can't even get it open. You pop it in the freezer and then when you want to use it, you get it out, you put it on and you just leave it to take deep off the eyes, especially if you've been out on a night out the night before. Um, it just helps waken up the eyes. So I'm glad I found that. And for 30 pence, I'm happy to save a pound. <laughs> um, now, uh, I'm a little bit about trying this, but i will try it i will give it a go if i can get it to work that is so this is under eye the metal cooling uh, the cold metal rub but with the concealer in it now i love garnier and um, bought at 10 pound a pop do you know what i mean that's a lot of money so i thought i'd have a look on aliexpress while it was on there so you got your three roller balls and then you just roll it round but I cannot get all three balls to go. So this could have been a dodgy buy, but I'll still give it a go and try and get it to loosen up. So we'll just have to see. I might have to take the Yeah, I might have to take the lid off and see if there's something underneath that. Um I say I'm a little bit about trying it, but I will try it. This is going to be in my uh does it work collection. Now, this has been going around Facebook for a long time now. Well, not a long time, for a little while now. And basically, what it is, it's... I don't even know the name, of how you call it. It's a tea bar. Face, a skin tea bar tool. So, you've got a thing to put your batteries in. So, let's try it. Let's see if I put it in the right way. Oh, God, that made me jump. Is there any way to turn it off? Okay, now how do I turn it on? It vibrated then and then it stopped. Ah, 
so you turn it on at the bottom and it vibrates and basically it's a cold bar and you're going to take it and you're going to now I'm not going to go too hard on my skin because uh, push down too much on my skin because I've got a bit of makeup on you can definitely feel the cold on it So yeah, so I'm going to give that a go, a proper go, and see how that works in my um, a video doing it, does this really work thing. So if, <laughs> if it works, it was a great buy because it was only £2. So let's just put that battery back. <coughs> and then I've been having to buy a couple of little uh, Christmas presents, so... Uh, because I know she doesn't watch this, um, I thought I can you I can put this on. So a certain someone is an absolute lover of oh, I'm down yeah I can't say their name. Uh, pillowcase and it, it was pennies, but I can't actually remember how much. But it was pennies, and I got a cushion, uh, a pillow from um, a shop for ninety nine pence. Uh, which will go away as a Christmas present and I thought that was ideal. It was less than a pound You can't go wrong with less than a pound if you know, it's What you uh, if it's worth the material everything else, you know what I'm saying uh, Where's the other one? All right. Oh, I've lost one never mind Right, and then I picked up these little earrings. They are musical. Uh, I had bought them before. They went down lovely as a present, and I bought them again for a present. Um, and then I got in my little Christmas earrings, Christmas necklace. Uh, £1.70 for the two. Um, I know you can buy them over here, and I know you can buy them probably from Primark for a pound things like that but they just grab my eyes because they're small simple delicate things that I love so why not um then there was a couple more uh Christmas pillowcases now I've seen some in the pound shop the quality nah and now you know me I'll tell you if I think or if I don't um but let's say the quality is not good um I've seen some in other shops and they're around five or six pounds uh, which is not a bad price at all, but I went for AliExpress again because I do like their their cases because they are such good quality, and that was one pound. And then when I put one of the cushions in, which was ninety nine p, it's one ninety nine. And again, you can't go wrong with one ninety nine. You know, you're saving yourself um, a few pounds. So I bought a couple of them. And that one there and I just thought they're so pretty and so nice but the quality is so good it's not a cheap material it's like a woven material and then I bought this which I'm not going to get out the racket just yet but this is a table runner now I cannot or couldn't last year find my table runner for life nor money um so I so I did I had to do without a table runner um, and again, looking on AliExpress, I thought, I wonder how much their prices are. And I picked up this one, which I thought was so cute because it's got um, your candy cane and your little holly embroideries on it. And I picked it up for, I believe, £2.70 something. Um, and it's got all the embroidery edging, uh, you know, the shell edging and everything. And I just think that is so pretty. It'll go so well on my table this Christmas. So yeah, so that is my AliExpress. Um, I'm going to figure out what the first item is soon enough. Uh, I will include this in. But everything else, I say, I, I'm... Why did I buy them? Again, I don't know. I was just drawn to it and I thought, yes, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go for our YouTube videos, eh? Why not? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, beauties, always do what makes you happy. Bye.